Hello and welcome to the den. My name is Eric and it's Friday. So this week on The Den, our assignment was to cover something about local LGBT history. And being in Washington, D.C., there's a million things that I could have done. I mean, we had the March on Washington, um, all kinds of civil rights protests, um, you know, you know, all kinds of legal things that just happened, the big marriage announcement. But there's one thing, one person who is near and dear to my heart that I wanted to share with you all, and that is Frank Kameny. Frank Kameny was a World War II veteran. He held a PhD in astronomy from Harvard University, and he began a crusade in the late 1950s upon being fired from the United States Army Map Service for being openly gay. In 1957, he actually sued the United States Civil Service, the first instance of sexual orientation discrimination in a lawsuit. He lost, but he kept fighting, and for 50 years he fought for the right for gay and lesbian employees to work openly and out in the federal government. Have you ever heard the phrase, gay is good? Well, you can thank Frank Kameny for coining that slogan. Frank wanted to craft a positive message for the gay liberation movement, similar to what he found in the Black is Beautiful slogan in the Black Civil Rights Movement. Another really critical thing that Frank Kameny did for gay liberation was in his petition to the American Psychological Association to remove homosexuality as a pathology from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. In this photograph seated next to him, you see a psychiatrist in a mask because he feared for his job. This was 1972, and in 1973, the APA officially removed homosexuality as a disease, and overnight, we were cured. I'm standing outside the Francis Perkins office building that's home to the United States Department of Labor. So here at the DOL, they have one of the lesser-known memorials in D.C., mostly because it's hidden inside this giant fortress of a building, the Labor Hall of Honor. So the Labor Hall of Honor recognizes Americans who have uh, made particular strides in, you know, opening up the workplace. So incredibly famous people are recognized here, including Dolores Huerta, uh, Mother Jones, and this year uh, the Labor Hall of Honor decided to induct uh, Frank Kennedy uh, in uh, June of this year. Unfortunately, the Hall of Honor closed at 6.30 and it's 6.35. Um, so I'm not able to get in and take a picture of uh, Frank's name on the wall there, but I'm going to share some pictures from the induction ceremony and the thank Frank uh, hashtag photos from uh, the day that they added his name to the wall. I'm standing on a random stretch of New Hampshire Avenue here in DuPont Circle and um, remembering a moment. I was marching in the Radical Ferry contingent in a pride parade, probably like, I don't know, 2007 or 8. I can't recall exactly when it was, but we were marching down uh, this stretch of New Hampshire and I looked over to, to my right and uh, I saw Frank right there, you know, great big huge grin on his face, and I ran right over to him, and I put beads around his neck, and I gave him a great big kiss on the forehead, and I blessed him and thanked him for all the work that he'd done, and, yeah, I, I kissed Frank Hamity on the forehead. <laughs> So I'm standing outside of 1625 Connecticut Avenue, uh, just north of DuPont Circle, and this shoe store that you see behind me actually used to be the home of Lambda Rising, the DC gay bookstore. And it was in April of 2005 that I actually first met Frank Kameny, and it was here, and it was totally by accident. I came in uh, on the pretenses of, you know, putting a poster up for a Radical Ferry event for May Day at DuPont Circle, and the place was jam-packed. It was full of people, and it was because Larry Kramer was here from New York City uh, to 
deliver a sermon, basically, about his book, The Tragedy of Today's Gays. Always very melodramatic, Mr. Kramer. <clears throat> so anyways, um, I come in, and I'm going to go all the way to the back and put my poster up on the bulletin board. And uh, so Larry's up there on the podium, and he's, like, given this, you know, <clears throat> fiery, fiery speech about how DC gays need to do more for the gay community. We're here, we're in the seat of power, and we have access to all of these people, and we need to pull on our, you know, resources and make things happen. And Frank Kameny was in the audience, and he lit up. <laughs> he said, who in the hell do you think you are um, coming down here and trying to tell us how to run our city? Like, it, it was just amazing. And he got into him about how he didn't understand D.C. and he didn't understand who the gays of Washington are or, like, what kind of lack of access that we have to the halls of power. And it was amazing. And everyone in the audience erupted in cheers because he was right. He was completely and totally right. As disenfranchised Washingtonians, we don't have any fucking votes, and Mr. Kramer up in New York City has plenty. <laughs> so, yeah. It was fascinating, and it was my first exposure to Frank Kameny, and I, again, another one of those moments I'll just never forget. In June of 2010, the DuPont Circle Advisory Neighborhood Commission unanimously voted to rename a section of 17th Street between P and R in honor of Frank Kameny, so you can actually go and visit Frank Kameny Way in Washington, D.C. And in November of 2011, his house in Upper Northwest Washington was added to the National Register of Historic Places. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you learned a little bit about Frank Kameny and uh, about my my own personal memories of him and how uh, it's, he's just a sweet, wonderful, tender person. And uh, the just you know the fact that he had such a huge impact in this city and in this nation for so many people is just unbelievable. Um, I would totally recommend that you check out the book Gay is Good, uh, The Life and Letters of Frank Kameny. It's available in a lot of public libraries. You can find it in universities. It's, it's a really great book. Totally check that out. And uh, there's another book that you should probably read, too, that's kind of in a similar vein called The Lavender Scare. And The Lavender Scare is about how the House and American Activities Committee was rooting out queers uh, just at the same time as they were rooting out communists. And, you know, it was a, th it was a huge deal. It was a huge deal to, to get the queers out of government because they could be blackmailed at any time. And that was the, that was the threat. And the fact that we are able to be out at work and to be under no threat, you know, for being openly who we are, we owe that debt to the work that Frank Kameny did for us. And to that, I want to give you a big blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank Frank. Go online. Read more about him. I'm going to put a bunch of links down in the crotch. Please go and learn more about this wonderful, amazing American hero. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And I will see you all again next week. Cheers!